Hi guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, the continuation of computer practice uh, N5, uh, which is a question paper from November, I think it's November 2022. So I did part of it and then I'm just doing a continuation on the if statement. And then this part we call it, uh, but if function text logical, because it requires you to find a text for you to start continue with the calculations. Uh, let us look. We are going to answer number uh, number E. But let me find a pen. I'm gonna use a red pen. I think yeah. I'm gonna use the red pen. So we're doing this one. This one right here. And let us look at it. It's got if we know it's an if statement or if function. And then if if say if discount is allowed, it means if it's allowed. It's either we're going to have a positive or a negative on the spreadsheet. We're going to go to the spreadsheet. So, for example, in a spreadsheet, we're going to have a yes or a no. So, then calculate a discount allowed at 5%. Of what? Of the total paid. So, there must be a column for total paid. Otherwise, discount allowed would be just be a zero. So, we're going to substitute all this uh, information when we do our if function on our spreadsheet. And then we need to go to our spreadsheet to see if information that is here, the data that is provided can be used to do the if function calculation. Let us go, let us go there in red now. Okay, here's our spreadsheet. As you can see, uh, other columns are already completed. We did this in the previous part, the total paid deleted discount, yes or no. Because discount yes or no is also an if function statement. If I double click here, we're going to see on the formula sheet here. On the formula sheet, it shows you what formula we used. If, in brackets, F8 is greater than 5, comma, the answer must be yes. Otherwise, comma, the answer must be no. That was the if function that we did previously. Okay? We are not there today. We are on the expanded function, which is using the text. I'm going to erase that. So we now continue to the next one that has been requested by you to say we need to do the, the next one. The next one is this one. Uh, I'm trying to go back to the, this column that we are now about to calculate. Discount allowed. We, ha we saw the statement and we have to break it down here. Now, what did they say? They say if we find a yes or a no in this column, we need to calculate 5% of what total paid of column G. If you find a yes in this column, we calculate 5% of column G. So we go and select that column and then go to what? Logical. And under logical, we use the if. And we're going to get the argument. The argument is given to us there. On the argument, we have to select the cells that are part of the argument the first cell that is part of the argument is the is h the first one is h8 i'm going to select the first cell on the h which is h8 next to 2100 and then they say what what must happen they say if h8 is yes then we must calculate 5% discount. So what do we do? We say if H8 is equals to, remember when you're using text, you always use inverted commas. You open inverted commas and type the word yes and then close them. When you're using the argument function, argument function is this thing, this table here. You don't use commas because all this, these columns here, when you go to the next column, it's automatically a comma. So we go to the next column because we already told that if H8 is close to yes, then the question will be, then what? Then what must go to the next column? The next column, it says, then the same uh, uh, G, which is total paid. Total paid must be, cal must calculate the percentage. Percentage, you say, is 5%. Then you say, G8 times 5%. You type them in. You can see them there. So if 
H8 is equals to yes, then G8 must be calculated by five percent. Otherwise, what must happen? Otherwise, the answer must just be a zero, a zero. So if you don't find anything, if you don't find a yes, then just put zero. Then let us test our argument. You just click OK. Then it gives us a zero for it means there is a no there. So, but if you do a fill down function, it tells us that we got two yeses there, and then it calculated by five percent. We got seven hundred and twenty-two point fifty cent, and then one thousand six hundred and eighty-seven point fifty cent on the last two columns. That's how you use the uh, the logical function or if statement logical function text we are looking for the text we were, we had the text but we calculated with the numbers okay? so please this question will come up and one of the questions that will come up is going to be count if and then i think we're going to do it in the next video where they're going to ask you to count certain things if you find such, such certain things for example if there is a, a, a gender of a male, count how many males are there. It's one of the topics that you need to prepare for, for your examination. Count if. So we're going to do it in the next video. Keep on subscribing, share the video, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, the next video is going to be on count if because I think it's also part of your syllabus for computer practice in five. I think it's also in six. So we're going to be doing the count if. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.